for being here. There is no better place to be than here, in your arms. You are my dream come true. One more gift. I just hope that you sound exactly this way on our 10th anniversary. Brian, don't you ever think I would walk away from you? Don't think it, ever. I think that I have lived long enough to understand that change is inevitable when it comes to human nature. Ryan, look at me. Take a good look at me for some seconds. I am not going anywhere. I'm never going to leave you. I don't know what a soulmate is supposed to be like. I don't know what it feels like to have a soulmate, but the truth is, I love what I feel. You are the man after my heart. Can't you see it? Can't you see that? I am another person, another being when with you. Thank you for choosing me. This is forever. I love you endlessly. One more gift. One more gift. <laughs> okay, this. Uh, yeah, this one. Hey. All right. Oh. Well. Next. Okay. Uh oh. This is a fort. Is there someone from your side? Well, I see a letter. There's a letter attached to it. This is your daughter. <laughs> what is this about? This is what rubbish is this? I don't have a daughter. said he never wanted anything to do with her. I am hoping that by coming... Sorry? I know you know I, I know you know what I'm hoping that by becoming a, becoming a wife you will come to appreciate motherhood. I didn't think I would ever see her again. I was a child when she happened. I was made to choose between her and my future.
I presented myself like a book to you. So that you can flip through the pages of my life. Because I figured that since I had truly fallen in love with you and was going to get married to you, it's best that I come back. Jane. I came to you naked. Naked. I stood in front of you naked with my past. My present. And even my future. But you. Could not find it in you yourself to tell me but you had a child. And so I wonder, is it that you do not love me? Or you do not find me worthy? Or you do not trust me enough with your truth? I was only 15. I was a 15 year old teenager when it happened. A 15 year old teenager who was raped on a party she shouldn't have gone. Cry dilemma. <laughs> That's the usual excuse for situations like this. You know, I had been quite unfortunate with women before I met you. You know, after I met you, I said a prayer in Thanksgiving. Because I believed. Also, I thought that with you I finally put it right. But alas, <laughs> ah, Jane. No, 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 Brian. Brian, no. <laughs> You got it right with me. Baby, 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 look at me. You got it right with me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry.
supposed to have told you that I was raped at 15 on our first date. <sighs> Apparently, getting raped is the new cool, right? So I... Yes, I was stupid to be ashamed of sharing that sensitive information. Oh yeah, that's right. That is right. Because to love is to trust wholesomely with all your beauties and ugly. Now that's love. To love is to be lovable. No one is attracted to darkness. Brian, let's get real for once. You need a conscience. You think I'm a monster? I don't know what I think. But I know that I'm scared. 
I'm scared of you. I'm scared of a woman who has no love for her own child. I wonder how she's able to say that she loves other people. I love my child. If I didn't love her, I wouldn't have been through the most humiliating and painful nine months of my life just to keep her alive. Are you keeping her? Oh yes. I am part of the reason she's still breathing. Go ahead. Pat yourself on the back. Give yourself a round of applause for making the biggest sacrifice in the history of mankind for your child. Do it. Brian. Brian, what exactly do you want from me? You want me to be miserable over the past mistakes of my life? I have been through a lot in life. And I think I deserve all the happiness without letting the past mistakes of my life to ruin me. Get real, Jane. Get real. We all can agree that there is almost nothing we can do to change our past. I'm not asking you to do that. I'm asking you to please stop trying to bury what does not need to stay buried. Take your child back. No. Why? Things are better this way. For who? For you? For you, for I, for her! For everyone! You know, if you can stand there and deny... You won't see it. If you can do this... Without a strand of your hair... Feeling any kind of guilt, I wonder, Jane, I wonder where I stand in your life. I loved you. I love you, I loved you, I still love you. The reason I married you. You're hurting us, you're hurting me. You married me, so what? You love me, so what? You say you love your daughter, yet you're so comfortable keeping her away. I hope you can see now that your love comes with no assurance. Ian, you are hurting me. You are hurting me. But you took two weeks leave off work. 
Yes, for my honeymoon. But since the honeymoon isn't happening again, I guess it is high time I got back to work. You'd have to take those clothes off because you're not going anywhere. Is that right? Oh yes. Very right. You must understand that I am your husband and that my opinion matters in this relationship. Have I ever questioned your opinion even while we were dating? How about when I asked you to take your daughter back? How about you knowing that it, this is not your decision to make? She is not your child! She is my stepdaughter. You're being delusional right about now. You're the one being delusional, my darling. You never knew she existed up until a week ago. And that would mean that I be negligent. She is not your responsibility. How about you focus this energy on making your own child? Just maybe, maybe you won't go about trying to get other people's child from them. I have cold feet. Making a baby with a woman who knows nothing about motherhood. Then let's get a divorce. Say that one more time. I thought so. Take these things off. I need justice. Who is the father of your daughter, Jane? I don't. <laughs> okay, what's her name? I didn't get the chance to give her a name. Bloody hell. Well, now you have the chance to, to make everything right. activist. 
around an NGO that caters to widows. And you think that I would sit back and watch my own suffer? Oh, Virgin, have you wondered the present condition of that child? Does she look like she's seen hell? Does she look like she's known hell? You are going to ascertain the wellness of that child by just one photograph that could have been photoshopped, by the way. Is that how naive you are? She's my child, not yours. Get a hold of yourself. You have to talk to someone. Since the both of us won't listen to ourselves, I suggest we seek the advice of a marriage counselor. Interesting. So you'd rather speak to a therapist than talk to your own daughter? Hmm? Brian, what is really wrong with you? Hmm? Why are you being difficult? How am I being difficult? No, I should be asking what your problem is. Is it that you've not been listening to me? My position on this matter is really simple. I'm saying that no one, no man, no woman should stay away from their own child, their own seed, without talking to them. I mean, it's wicked. It's devilish. It's, it's a travesty. It's savage. Brian, what if I had aborted her? Should I then be comfortable with never knowing her? Can you stop justifying? I gave her life despite the pressures of life. I, I suffered for her. And trust me, this pressure was solid. I made sure that I gave her up so she could have a good shot at life. Are you not even curious to know how she turned out after all this year? You know, what she looks like, what her potentials are. That's your child. You know? I made a promise never to go for her. And I'm not turning back on that promise. You know, we're meant to believe that the bond between a mother and a child is stronger than anything else in this world. I was never her mother, not even for a day. So, where would this bond come from? In your womb, you carried her for nine months. You're her mother. Brian, you're beginning to give me a mini heart attack. Sit back or come. I don't want to sleep here tonight. You are going to sleep here. Let me tell you something. No one is going to storm off on anyone. We're not barbarians. We're human beings. It's okay for you and I to disagree. Okay? And then we can leave. But if we must leave, we must leave respectfully. We're not animals. Are you saying that you do not want to sleep here tonight? And of course you know that's a lie. The moment you agreed to say yes to me as your husband was the moment you agreed to share your bed with me for the rest of your life. I agree. I absolutely agree with you. My body, my soul, everything belongs to you. But please, if you want to share this bed with me, then be a husband. 
thought I told you not to run off. Right, please let's get your hand off me, please. You're hurting me. Why are you angry? But I'm getting us to talk about your child rather than having sex with you in different positions. Brian, please. No, I'm asking you. I want you to know. Please, Brian. Please, Brian. You. No. What are you doing? No, I want us to have sex. No, Brian. No, please. that's what we should be. We should be Brian, having, no. We should be having sex. What are you doing? Get your hands. You're hurting me. How am I hurting you? You're hurting me, Brian. Oh my god! Ryan, please don't do this. What? You don't want to have sex? No, 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 no,
painful memories and I'm sorry I'm very sorry that wasn't the only time hmm? what I did have this guy in school then I developed um a phobia for sex. I told him, I explained to him to wait up until I was ready. And he accepted. He agreed to my terms. But one day, I guess he couldn't wait anymore. himself on you. That was my fault. Again. <sighs> I I had spent the night at his place. Though that wasn't the first time I slept at his place, but I disappeared into thin air. I, 
I was ashamed. I just couldn't face anyone in school. Even though I was the victim. I love you so much and I am in no doubt that you love me too. I know it is not every man that would accept to get married before sex. It's not like either of us are virgins, but you agreed to my terms, you waited. You are a good However, I am not going to back down on my decision. And that's not okay. <laughs> that's not okay. That's not acceptable. I'm going to have children. And our kids would be related to her by blood. They deserve to know her. They deserve to meet her. They will be siblings. Think about it. trying. I'm trying, but I just cannot help myself. I 
catch myself wondering who sent you the note. It doesn't have a name on it. No address. No contact number, nothing. And it could not have been the people that she gave her to. So I'm just wondering who this person is who who really is keen on reminding you that you have a child somewhere. Brian, what is wrong with you? I don't know. What is your obsession with this girl? What? You are intentionally breaking our marriage. Can't you see it? Do you have a medical condition that I should know of? Are you incapable of having kids of your own? Because I don't understand this obsession. I just want you to do the right thing, Jane. I remember we agreed never to storm out on each other again, but please permit me to storm out right now. Because I would regret what next I would say. Excuse me. There's a reason for the obsession. Six years ago, I, I denied a young lady who was pregnant for me because I was having an illicit affair with a married woman who was powerful enough to destroy my life's work if I, if I messed up our secret affair. <laughs> and so I chose my career over my unborn child because I'm a selfish bastard. That wasn't my case. Mine was different. I had a choice. I had a choice to kill or give her up for adoption. But guess what? I went with what was in her best interest. But yours, yours was an abortion. Mine was worse. You cannot write your wrong through me. It is wrong. You cannot appease your conscience by forcing me to accept my daughter. Hold on a second. <laughs> it just occurred to me now that you, you revealed to me that you have a child you know about. Yet you kept it a secret from me. And here you are dragging me for not telling you my entire story. He died.
it was a fire accident. He was just six. Lived with his grandmother because his mother had to get back to her herself. Did you, did you at least get to see him before he died? I just tracked them down. And as you would expect, it was fireworks from the mother. And I apologized. I apologized profusely for my stupidity. We made plans. We made plans to see him. I was excited. I bought gifts. We had picked a date that weekend to go see him at the grandma's place. And unfortunately, the accident happened on a Thursday. And I couldn't see him. I'm so sorry, I, I can't even imagine how you must have felt. It's my fault. If I had lived up to my responsibility as a father, he would have still been alive. He was just six years old, you know. And all I have tried to do is find some peace within myself through connecting you with your daughter. You're so minor and different. I did not abandon my daughter. I, I put her up for adoption. I know. I, but listen, I'm not saying this because I am desperate to end this drama. No, I'm not. Oh, well, yes, I am. But she's in better hands. I am not worried about her, so you shouldn't be. This has been one hell of a honeymoon. Yeah, not for once, huh? So what next now? What what's next for us? <laughs> huh? What's next? Ah. So what do you want? I want to look at you. And not be reminded that you have a daughter somewhere. In this game of 
Brian, it's been a week. Why are you doing this to me? This is... This is eating me up. It's, it's beginning to drain me mentally. give you some time to think if you still want this or not. <laughs> uh, you must really think that this is when we were dating, when you just walk out, walk back. I need a break. <laughs> I am losing my mind. I am losing my mind. After I came to see your people and I paid your bride price, did your people call you back to tell you that I owed them anything? Do not call me. I still can do whatever I want and whenever it pleases me! I want you. I paid your bride price. Brian, it is our honeymoon. We deserve all the happiness we can get. Enough with the punishment. Please. Let's face our new lives together. I beg you. 
Why are you kneeling? You've been ignoring me. If I have something to say to you, I say to you, how have I ignored you? Brian, what is your interest in this girl? Why are we still talking about this issue? I thought you said that we we forget this, you have to forget about it. And focus on us. Oh baby, you did not accept it. Do you accept my opinion? I put ourselves in the shoes of that family. Let's put ourselves in the shoes of that family. Let's imagine if we're the ones who adopted that girl. Then someone calls us out of the blue, introduces herself as her biological mother and tells us she wants her baby back. How would you feel, Brian? Let's forget this girl, please. She belongs to somewhere else. Our honeymoon, baby, it is our honeymoon. You know what? Let's forget about this and just let's live in dog's life. The girl sent in the picture and letter. Her name is Christabel. And she's my sister. to speak with someone. And you called her? Are you stupid? Do you know how that makes me look? Makes me look like I failed. But barely one week in this thing and, you, and you're, you're, you're bringing my family in what we cannot settle a simple dispute? How insensitive and stupid can you be? Brian, Brian, listen to me. It is fine to be upset. It is fine to be mad. I mean, you can be mad as much as you want, but what I won't tolerate is you calling me names. Oh. Are you giving me ultimatums now? Huh? You're going to tell me how to talk? How to express my pain and frustration? Actually, the stupid one here. Can't you see that you are wrecking this marriage? Can you not see it? And the painful part of it is that it is all for nothing. You see, this is exactly why I can't get past this. You calling your own blood nothing. You refer to your own blood as nothing. Huh. Who are you, Jade? Who really are you?
Hi, Christabel. How are you? This is Jane's husband. Thank you so much for reaching out to me and sending me your number. I need your help. I told you to leave that part of my life, but you wouldn't listen. Honey, I don't know what you're talking about. My sister, you called my sister, and now she knows things she isn't supposed to know. I don't know what your problem is. She's your sister. Even though your father disowned her, but she's still family. Do you have an idea why I didn't invite her for my wedding? I don't know. You tell me. You keep everything a secret. It is my secret and not yours. upset you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, please, please, please. Enough with this. I'm sorry. Enough. Why are you apologizing for things you have no intentions of letting go? This will not change the fact that you also denied your one child. You didn't have to go there. Oh, please. I will then go wherever I want to. We have since crossed that line. What are you talking about? Jay, you want something? No, I'm fine. Are you sure? I mean, I could arrange some fruits for us. I'm not hungry. <clears throat> I'm not hungry. I'm fine. Thank you. We well, haven't had anything well, no. almost all day since afternoon. Nothing. Neither have you. Well, I'm not the one who's a bit ill now, am I? I'm fine. Thank okay, you. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to get some fruits together and have us just munch it down, all right? Since both of us have no appetite for it. But we need food. You know, let me quickly do that. I'll just be right now. You know, you never mentioned. Not for once. That you're a smart dude. Not for once. The last time I had an attack was after my 16th birthday. It was finally over. Jane, you would agree with me that there were a lot of secrets between us. And what's even more worrisome is the fact that we are not making any effort to fix these issues. Brian, we love each other. We are in love with each other, no doubt. The reason we're still together, even after all this long, horrible days of honeymoon. But you see, the thing is, you, you want something. Something different from what I want. And, and, and the only way this can work is if we get to see a therapist. We need someone to speak with. We need to talk to someone. If not, this marriage will go up in flames. I don't feel like talking to someone. It's not my thing. Brian, this isn't about our ego or our personal feelings. 
as a survivor. I can't live under this pressure again. You've already seen what it can do to me and I don't want to experience it again. The last time I experienced a thing like this was on my 16th birthday. I'm going to respect your decision and try to forget all that I have come to find out by accident. So that you and I can have a fresh start. To a fresh start? To a fresh start. To love? To love. To trust? Trust. Respect? tonight and make this really special. Everything beautiful. Everything romantic. And everything else in between. <laughs> I can work with that. I trust you. and split seconds. I had to. My God, that was so fast. <laughs> I know I should trust you, but I don't believe you are falling apart. You sing this game of love, it's just you and I. Whatever you do, it's just you and I. And everything you do, is just you and I. Nice, yeah? Yes, I tried. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry. So sweet. And there you go. Hmm? Oh, so pretty. 
Really? Not, okay, I got you. Got you. I don't eat this. Jesus. <laughs> now you say why I feed you now. <laughs> okay. Someone at the, someone at the wrong address. Uh, who are you? Babe, please don't open. No, let me just say, I mean, the person... No, we don't have to. I mean, it's not necessary. <laughs> now, I could just check if the person is still loitering. Please, please, no, please. Why are you... You're a bit uneasy. Is everything okay? Am yes. I? Yes, you are. Let me see who this person is. Hopefully the person is still no. not standing there. Let me just see. Please. You never please. know with these people loitering around and... Hey, you! It might not get to me. Who are you? It's me, Bill. Jay's sister. Oh, you! You look different on Facebook. Everyone looks different on social media. Whoa! Did I just walk into a paradise or what? This place is magical! Mister, if she is Mister, just so that I'm single, I'm ready to mingle. <laughs> Good to see you too, Jay. Why are you always like this? You want anger issues, bread and butter. Oh no, so stop it. Don't say that about your sister. She's... She's actually a very down-to-earth person. She's a sweet soul, you know? <laughs> oh, my God! Now I'm convinced I'm a boy. Whoa! This seed is so soft in the axe. And my dose off here, you know? I'm sure you and my sister will be getting it on this card. Okay, okay, okay. Now, okay. Oh, Lord. Okay, now, hey, 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 listen. That, now, that's inappropriate. Stop. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Can you lose it now? Babe? Hey. Why did you let her in? Why not? She's your family. That's right. My family, not yours. Oh, your family, my family, really, what's the difference? Family is family. Why don't you want her here? Jen, does this have to do with the fact that you lied to me that you're the only daughter from your family? Oh, yes. I still remain the only daughter. My father cheated on my mother with her mother. And she's mm. the result of that nonsense. Yeah, yeah. So she's the little stepsister that we all do not like, okay? 
you have no right to make assumptions from what you know absolutely about. Oh, well, I know enough to know that you do not want her here. I also know enough to know that you... You really don't want anyone around. What's going on? Really, why Why just... Why do you want everyone to keep off, keep off, keep the, off, off, off? Listen, Brian, Christabel is bad news. By the way, why didn't you consult me first before we let in Harry? Oh, well, how... Would I have known that you're butting heads with all your family members and you wouldn't want to see them? I didn't know. I mean, if you had told me, you know, I would have done the needful, but hey, it's not my fault now, is it? Calm down. Hi. Hmm? Okay. What is it, Christabel? Hello? Sorry, my bad. I didn't ask you to come in. Stop walking around like this place belongs to you and I. It is not my house, and I'm sorry for gallivanting. I was looking for the bathroom. The bathroom is downstairs, like you didn't see it. Jade, I'm sorry, you and I have not really been cool sisters, you know, that lovey-dovey among sisters, but I'm really sorry. I know you want me gone from this mansion, but anyways, um, just give me two days. I will disappear, I promise you that. Why didn't you call me first? Because if I even manage to get your number, you're just going to end the call the moment you realize it's me. What's fault? My fault. I'm sorry. I've not really been the best sister in the world. I'm really sorry. You've never been anything to anyone. Okay, all I ask for is just two days. Two I days. Two days and you're out of this place, else I will throw you out myself. Deal, I promise. Oh, please don't even go there. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Get it in. All right, catch you. Yeah, right. What was that for? What was what? So, um, so we have the list now, right? We have the list, we can. I'm not going anywhere with you. I can't leave Christopher in this house. How about we all go together? Hell no. Make it a fun family day. Hell to the no. To be fun. Never. We'll protect selfies. No freaking way. One fun family out. I will let her. Christabel. Ha! Yeah, uh, we'll go to shopping. Can I come? What? If that's okay with your sister. Jay? Jay? Jay! I want to sit, Christopher. We don't scream in this house. What is it? Your husband asked me to accompany him to the mall. Would that be a problem? your house. Can you stop stuttering me? I figured you didn't come with any clothes. Um, sis, can I get towel, um, um, cream and soap? I'll use my pants for the sponge. Please? You were at the supermarket with us earlier today. Why didn't you get those? Rather, you, 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 you bought a call. You know what? Forget I asked. Thanks.
I'm making big boys for us. I didn't remember asking you to serve my husband and I. Come on, you let me into your house. The least I can do is help us with breakfast. He won't fool me with this, your fair weather good attitude of yours. I know you too well. And you don't believe I can change. <laughs> A leopard never changes its sports. You almost ruined my marriage. That's because I thought you want to learn about her now that you're married. <laughs> oh, you just wanted to blackmail me as usual. I swear, no. I wanted to help you find her. I'm never trusting you again. I have tried that too many times and I got disappointed at every single one of them. It's different this time. No, Christabel. It's never different with you. At first I thought it was our father and too many of his rules. I thought he was actually the problem. Then I thought it was my mother not loving you enough. But you see, you keep defiling every approach towards helping you. You have few hours to stay in this house. And don't even think of manipulating my husband into letting you stay because I won't let it happen. I hope you're not adding any substance into this food. Come on, I've been clean for months! Yeah, right, don't want to do that. Hey, you didn't have to do that. I didn't know you smoked. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. I saw it. I thought you'd be locked up in the room all day. No, 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 no. We had other things to talk about, investment plans and all. So how do you find smoking? It's cool. It's cool, right? It's Interesting. <laughs> Listen, I don't judge. Next time you want to do your stick of cigarette, it's fine. We can talk while you smoke. I don't judge anything, okay? I mean, it's your life. Whoa. This is the first time someone is telling me to leave my fucking life. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, you should live your life the way you see and understand it. Because it's not as if when you die, they are going to bury you with the one whose opinion matters the most. So, why not? You see? I knew I was going to like you. Why? <laughs> good, good. Ah, so what's really the problem with you and your sister? That is not my story to tell you. It's her story to tell. True, true. I shouldn't have asked. Yeah. What I thought you would have asked is about your stepdaughter. Um... I'd like to respect Jane's wish on that matter. I promised um, never to bring it up again, so. So you're comfortable with the mother selling her own child? I was wrong about you then. What did you say? Oh no, that's not the information I have. She told me that she gave her up for adoption. Yeah, that's what it's called, right? Giving out your own child for money. You're right. But money? What are you what are you saying? They paid the mom. I think they paid her 1.5 million naira for the child. Not her, her mother. 1.5 million naira for what? What what what's that money for? The mother invested the money on Jane's behalf at one unknown global company. Yeah, she has millions of shares there.
I don't believe you. You don't have to. You can ask her. She's your wife. Yes, but she would not. Um, she would not tell. She doesn't tell me anything. You know, she, it's it's hard to get through to her. Every time I bring this issue up, she just clams up. You know. Maybe because she knows it's useless going after something you sold. It's not only illegal, it is unethical. But you see what I found? The very first picture I took in university. See how skinny I looked. <laughs> but then I was... Uh... Yeah. No, you're not. Whenever you're worried, you drink alone. Hmm. Did my sister upset you? Not at all. I know we talked about real estate and uh, if there are risks, um, if their risk management um, and analysis is, sounds good to me, I think I want to be a part of it. I don't think that's a good idea. Why? You told me that they are solid. Not only did they help you grow your money, they also helped you save your money, so why would you? I really can't remember. It was my mother who did the registration. Oh, I see. Quite thoughtful of her, you know, to have done that for her child. I didn't tell you I was young. No, you did not, but um, given that you can't remember how long you've been with them, um, you can't remember how much you used at a startup investment, and then your mother did the registration, I just figured you were pretty young when it happened. It's only fitting to think that you were a bit. Trash it. After all, they are your lungs, not mine. What have you been telling my husband? What did he say? I told him. And that's not an answer. If I know exactly what you're asking, then I can give an answer. Listen. You have 24 more hours to stay in this house. I beg you, keep your loose mouth shut. We are still trying to heal from the stupid stunt you put on my wedding night. I beg you again, keep your loose mouth shut. Zip it. Okay, I see you're up already. Up and um, drinking and munching away. How was your night? Good morning, mister. Good morning. Hope you slept well. Uh, my night was hard and disturbing. Why? Disturbing because of what you told me yesterday. What did I tell you? About adoption. Oh! I see why that little witch was accusing me yesterday. Uh, Christopher, you'll have to stop calling my wife names. Okay. If you don't stop saying negative things about my wife, then you and I will have nothing to talk about. You must show respect, do you understand? Okay, noted. I know your type of people. What's my type? 
You're so curious. You want to know things and solve them. It's a shame my sister is not someone you can serve. How do you know this? She's my sister, dude. I see. Right. She told me that her child is fine. I hired a PI. She charged me three fifty thousand. The guy is really good. So good, like. You need to see him. Is everything okay? We need to talk. I spoke with your sister, Christabel. Oh, I knew it. She made me understand that your daughter's adopted parents have died. And now she stays with individuals who do not really want her. How did she come up with all of this? She said that she hired a PI. <laughs> ah, Christabel. Hired a PI. Oh, please say something else. I paid the sum of 350,000 Naira. What? Babe, please tell me you didn't give her a dime. That girl is a pathological liar. I know. Good, you know. I could tell for two reasons. First and foremost, she doesn't strike me like one who would need a PI. And secondly, she referred to the PI as a he and a she all at once. It wasn't adding up. I told you. I told you you shouldn't have let her in. That girl is a slimy snake. She's a viper. She is a truckload of trouble. Oh, Lord. I can swear that this girl is probably broke and desperately needs money. Take this info to the bank. Why would she be broke? Does she not work? Has she had any jobs in the past years? So what then is her problem? Please, I don't want to talk about that. Please. That's the problem with you. You don't ever want to talk about anything. It's all secrets with you all the time. Secret, secret, secret. All the time. See who is talking. You secretly contacted my sister. You brought her into our home. You secretly have conversations with her. Yet you're throwing stones. Please. You are not going to gaslight me. Jane, stop it. I'm going to throw rocks at you if I want. I'm not asking for too much. I'm asking to know who my wife is. Who are you, really? I'm asking you, who are you? What are you not telling me? The fact that you took 1.5 million naira with your mother to give away your own baby. Is that what you're hiding from me? What? Oh, this bitch is leaving my house this minute! You go nowhere. We agreed. No stomach off. That's the question I want answers.
down from my couch, you bitch. Get out! Get down! Get out of my house. That's me. Get out of my house! That's me. Stop! Stop! Come on! Stop! All right, stop! Stop! Get leave before I do something. Get a, Stop! Get a grip! Get a grip! Get out of my house! Get. Stop! Say no! No! Stop it! No! No! This is my house too. She goes nowhere. This is not her fault. This is all your fault, Jane. You have spoken to me. You have opened up to me as your husband. We will not be here. Because sometimes I wonder why we are even married if you cannot talk to me. Why? 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 Why are you so secretive? Why? Are you going to hold close to your child? The reason behind your child's adoption. Why? Do you not want your sister here with us? Why don't you want your child back? Too many questions, begging for answers. Yet you will not speak. So it's your fault that we're dealing with this right now. This mess is your fault. She goes nowhere. wants to know about the baby. What's baby? How did he find out? I, it is not important. I thought we both agreed never to mention it. Mom, my husband is here with me and the phone is on speaker. Please, he wants to know about the baby. What is this? to know about the whereabouts of her family. Jane. Mom, please. My husband thinks she needs some kind of saving. What? She's in Sweden. And the family. Jane, why are you asking me all Mom, this? Mom, please. How am I going to do that? I don't have any way of reaching them. I will send a picture to you on WhatsApp. Please go through the picture and let me know she's truly the one. Where did you get the picture? Please. Please do this for me, please. All right. I will see what I can do. But I don't want this madness to continue. Your father is finally recovering and I don't want anything to stress him out. We had to have something to tell you. Okay. I know the family who adopted my daughter. My mother's cousin. My mother hates the whole adoption process from me. She said she wanted to protect me from the world. And what she didn't realize was that I know the woman who adopted my baby was related to her. So how did you find out? I went into DK without my mother's knowledge. And what I realized was that she had taken my daughter to the US. She lives there with her husband. They've been there for the longest time. 
So when I found out about all of this information, I relaxed, knowing fully well that my baby will be well taken care of and she would have the best of life. But what I just found out is that they have relocated. They've relocated to Sweden. I'm just getting to hear that for the first time today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I misjudged you. It's okay, babe. This made me realize what a good man I married. she and don't even try to tell me she's my daughter uh, I, I don't know who she is I got the picture from the internet Christabel why would you do a thing like this to me I'm sorry you you are sorry you ruined my wedding night. What? I, I, I needed money. Not like I needed money. I still need the money. See, I, I did this business with this guy and I was the one who brought him in. I never knew it was calm and now he's asking for his money. He's after my life. Jay, it's a real black ass lord kind of shit. So disgusting. No lying. See, say something new. I'm not lying. See, you want to blackmail me? You want to blackmail me to keep my secrets? Exactly the same way you did with that. No, I, I, I was desperate. You're right. You know the real desperation now. I am not parting with a dime. Oh, sis, you can't do this to me. I am your blood. Please. No, you are still the old damn you, the old pathological liar. Like I said, I am not parting with a gift. Sis, I'm your blood. I just need 850,000. What? 850,000 Naira. I thought you had requested for 350,000 Naira. That was exactly what you asked for a while ago. I did. Oh. And what about the private investigator? Oh, yes. That's, yes. I, I, I needed that money to buy more time. <laughs> You're such a slimy snake. Guess what? You are not getting a dime from me, just like I said. And don't even think about my husband, because he's not parting with a dime as well. You can't do this to me, sis! Sis! In this game of love, it's just you and I. What's it you do, it's just you and I. It's you. Morning, baby. <laughs> Morning. Is that a cake? Yes, 
Since when did you start baking? Oh well, I um, I had her out. Oh no, baby, baby, come on, come on, come on. Don't, don't be like that. You don't know this girl. <sighs> She's family. All right, with family, we'll have to give second chances, third chances, you know, especially if you're not related. You know. If we we'll throw them away, then who will accept them? I know you love saving people, but I can tell you for a fact that Christabel is beyond redemption. How many times do you want me to say that to you? How else do you want me to explain it? Uh, we'll keep trying. Hmm? Oh. Fine. I'll give her the money. I already for... did. What? Yeah, this morning I um, I told her to send me her account number. I made a transfer. What? Are you sure it was her account number she gave to you? Because this girl is capable of giving you someone else's account number and sending back the money to her as later. You really see the worst in her. I really don't know that girl, and I pray she doesn't shock you. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Yes, baby, come on. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I just thought I, you know, I created to do something and apologize for stealing your honey money away. Hey. My, I'm sorry. Come here. I'm sorry. <laughs> but hey, you stole nothing away, okay? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I mean, thinking about it now, in hindsight, I would have just kept quiet when you insisted that I, that I drop it, but I kept talking and I'm sorry. But that wouldn't have been the brand that I know. Tell me about this brand that you know. A perfect gentleman. The man who would go all the way just to do the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just say that I'm doing this right now just to just to create peace in our home. <laughs> I 
this is not who you really are. Do not define your life by your moments of weakness, but by the moments you are your strongest. Wow. Profound. You make a great writer, you know. Really? Yes, a prolific one. <laughs> I know. This is so beautiful. It's okay. Is that a new outfit? Oh, you always get the best things of life. No one has ever treated me this special. Is she drunk again? <laughs> hey, are you drunk? Mister, you are really Really nice guy. You take care of my sister. Cake! Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so romantic. <gasps> Oops. My bad. Uh. <laughs> Just going to eat it baby. Oh, I don't go here. <laughs> Some mothers do have them. She's family, we are not just going to throw her out there in the wild. She has to Girl, go and get it. She's a lost course. Okay, calm down. Alright, calm down. I understand what you mean. What are your fears, really? If my mother hears she's here with me, she's gone away. My father even disowned her. What else? What else? What else do we need? How else do we need to take her out of this house? But we're not going to turn our back on her now. Are we? Sweetheart, why did you not tell me? Tell you what? That she had a problem with addiction. Oh, please. What else do you, how else do you want me to say that? I mean, she's shameless. What's the point? You see that, you see, you see, that's the thing. That's the thing. You're protecting her. You know, that's because you care about her. She's family. The truth is, having a relationship with that girl is very exhausting. But what can I do? She's my only sibling. I can't completely cut her off. Okay. I understand. But you see, that's why you have me. Hmm? We'll tackle this together. We got this. It's okay. Why do you choose to live a lie? I know I should trust you, but I don't believe you. Cause everything you say is falling apart. I know I should trust you, but I don't believe you. They're falling apart. You sing this game of love, it's just you and I. What have I to do? It's just you and I. And everything you do. I can't believe this is over. Yeah, it's been one hell of a honeymoon, baby. I know. Mm -hmm. And it didn't kill us, brother. 
it made us strong. I know. How about if we go to some of the fancy places in the world and have another honeymoon? I'm sure you won't say no. Mm. Uh, I will consider that. That sounds interesting already. Mm. <laughs> we could go to Colombia. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Something different. I know. Look at my man. Look at all. Just you and I What's the value to is just you and I Everything you do is just you and I You I bless the day that I met you You are my world, you are my sunshine Heaven smiled at me when you said I do Yes, I know you do Yes, I've been dreaming and I've been praying of the very day when you say I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hey, yes, I've been dreaming and I've been praying of the very day when you say I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, in this game of love, it's just you and I. What's all I do? It's just you and I And everything you do is just you and I Ooh. In this game of love, it's just you and I What's all I do? It's just you and I Everything you do is just you and I Falling apart I did choose to leave 